So working intuitively for me, I would say that it's, I would describe it as participating in an experience with my materials. I think it could, you could relate it to going on a trip, leaving your hotel and knowing that you wanna eat a beautiful meal at a restaurant, you wanna walk around, you wanna maybe go to a museum, but you're not, you haven't like made any set plans, but you know, like, you know, you're in this beautiful environment and you kind of, you're just leaving yourself open. When I have a blank canvas, I think it's a very similar feeling. I'm like, I'm open to the magic of paint and materials and what I'm using. I let things kind of unfold on their own and I participate with it. Sometimes I, I love the, the, the outcome and sometimes I need to come back to it and come back to it and come back to it and kind of rework it. I would say that there's a feeling that I get where um, I just know something's finished. Sometimes I get way too involved in it and it starts getting a little bit too crazy and it's kind of like when you're looking at yourself in a mirror and you can't really see yourself, you have to step back. I think a trick that I've learned is just, if I don't know what to do, I just leave it and come back to it with new eyes. I know that the titles of my work can be almost as elusive as the work itself, but I feel like it's important to um, use words as a different entry point into uh, the subconscious abstraction of the piece. I have to like, I make the work and then I have to leave it and I come back to it with fresh eyes and kind of a different mindset. And sometimes the title comes instantly. Sometimes it's just like, I see this, I feel this, um, and it's just there. Other times it takes a bit of reflecting. I keep a journal of ongoing splices of words or sentences that I really like. And then I just try to reflect on the piece. Sometimes it makes sense. It's sometimes it's kind of, I know it's a little weird. I don't know. And that's how I title the work.